are you? Hi, Jess. It's good to see you. It's so nice to see you. It's been <laughs> such a long time. We miss you over here. Um, but I'm so happy to connect with you. And I am really, really happy that we are having this time to kind of chat and answer questions um, and just, you know, get to know each other more and other people also get to know what you do in your work. So, um, yeah, so how things are going over there with you? Thank you. Well, things are going well, but I definitely miss being close to you guys. Yeah. And uh, I am so impressed, by the way, I have to say by your channel and everything that you're doing. And I, I even, I wanted to ask you some questions, if that's okay. Oh, yeah, I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Yeah, no problem. Oh, yeah, because I've, I've known you for some time now, and I've always seen in you this great ability to be very organized. Uh, and you also just balance so many things at once, right? So you have your family, you have your home, you have work. Um, what, what would you say is kind of, how do you keep on top of everything? Oh gosh, I don't even know. Sometimes I, I don't think I do. Um, actually, it's it's just a, a, a gambling. I think prioritizing. Um, it's one of the the key points. Uh, kind of things that you have to get done. Just get it get them done right away. And um, between work and in the house and the kids, it's just uh, it's you just go on with the flow basically <laughs> you're never gonna have a uh, hundred percent control of everything and it's that peace of mind of letting go of of not being able to control everything uh that will keep you moving will keep you motivated and keep you getting things done um but yeah one of the things i think is um prioritizing and organizing uh, the things that you got to do in a day that really have to do and then the other things that can't get done then you know maybe ne the next day or so so it's just that uh, uh, being gentle with yourself and being able to understand that you can only do so much in one day but also keep staying focused <laughs> <laughs> right it's such a fine balance right because um as women we hold on to so much so many responsibilities yeah uh, and you know we want to make sure that everything is done well and we want to take care of everyone around us and especially in your case having children um yeah. so you know i wonder for other moms that may be watching this do you have any best tips or advice uh, for anyone who is perhaps is a new mom or is going through a difficult time uh, emotionally or professionally just wanting to bring everything together yeah, um, I think it's it's a matter of uh, knowing what your support system is. Um, and I know that, well, I have my family uh, lives kind of far from me and understanding your limitations of what you have. Some families don't have any family or friends that can help out. So understanding that, that you can only do so much and uh, understanding that you have to have time for yourself as well as being able to provide to your family and to your loved ones, to your children. So I think it's just being able to um, know that I, you will be able to do the things that you have to do. You just have to be patient to yourself and not punish yourself that oh, the laundry didn't get done or, you know, or the cooking, it's, we're just going to eat chicken nuggets. I don't know, just things like that. You have to give yourself some credit for the things that you have done. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. And I've had the delight of actually trying some of your recipes and some of the things that you put hmm. together. And they've always been delicious to me. You can serve me chicken nuggets anytime. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I think uh, I think that the YouTube channels definitely highlights the the life of a person, but uh, know for sure that it's not always like that. Um, in everything that you see in social media, it's just a highlight of what you see for real life. And of course, we want to show that to inspire others, to motivate others, to um, to kind of give that um, motivation to move forward. But keeping in mind that that is not like a, a normal life. It's not, you know, like that 100%. Absolutely. Absolutely. 
And so what do you find is your biggest motivation to get through all the things that you do get through? It gives me a, a personal satisfaction. I don't know what it is. It's like a, um, it, it, it gives me a, a, I don't know how to explain it, like a sense of control, I guess. It's, it's in one way that I have things under control, that they're, they're not like piling up on top of me, um, but also a sense of satisfaction of seeing um, that I am able to I try to be quick on the things that don't um, really matter. Well, that they have to get done, but they they don't really matter. Like folding laundry, doing laundry, mopping the floors. Try to be really quick and not like try to do it consciously, but try to get it done quickly. So I have time for um, playing with the kids or uh, making a meal. Um, kind of, it, it, that's a sense of prior, prioritizing what's important and what's not. So I think being able to get those things done is my motivation to be able to spend um, more quality time and, and doing the things that I enjoy the most with, with myself, um, for my self-care and for my family. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. And, you know, I feel, I've always felt with you that that comes through beautifully in everything that you do. Oh, thank you. <laughs> well, I mean, and for those who may not be familiar with you or with your channel yet, can you tell us a little bit about your background professionally in life? Yeah. Um, so I am originally from Mexico and um, I was born and raised there. I, um, I also went to school for holistic health and nutrition. That has always been my passion, my uh, go-to for everything personally. And uh, I have found a sense of um, uh, satisfaction and, and also a sense of um, kind of uh, a need to, to help others uh, in creating a more um, whole life. I'm uh, creating a life that is more fulfilling in certain areas that, might, that th they might be struggling with. Um, and I like to help others feel better. It's, it's kind of a sense of service that I always felt. Um, so that's kind of why, why I went that route. And so I have two kids and uh, I, I work um, and then I, I am a mom and a wife <laughs> and, a, and a house cleaning and everything else. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Well, in speaking of house cleaning, I've seen the organization and the decoration videos that you've posted on YouTube. Love yeah. Them. Oh, I thanks for watching that. <laughs> oh, of course. Well, I am silly me. <laughs> and uh, I recommend that everyone watching this uh, will subscribe as well because uh, it's so packed full of information and beauty. Uh, and it makes things really tangible, right? That That's something that we need during this time, especially, I, I find. Yeah. That sometimes things can get really overwhelming, but if we have a system or a way to go about things, it makes things a lot easier. Yeah, for sure. I, I feel like I want to be able to to create a community of like, um, you know, unity and uh, helping each other, lifting each other up instead of like punishing each other, especially with all these political nonsense that is been going on and uh, the pandemic and everything is just been such a difficult year that I have felt that it was my responsibility to create a space for myself um, to create a happy, um, a lifting um, channel to be able to do this. And um, I really hope that you, you, Andy, and everyone else that watches enjoys it um, because I really, um, that's my main goal, kind of creating that community of, um, of a sense of community with lifting each other up and positivity. Absolutely. Yes. Absolutely. Yeah. But anyways, that's too much about me. Well, I, I have more questions. <laughs> oh, you have some more? <laughs> All right, bring it on. <laughs> <laughs> but it, it's up to you. you. You lead the way. Oh, go ahead. You, yeah. yeah. 
Oh, just a couple more because I know, you know, when I think about organization, I guess my reference had been somebody like Marie Kondo, uh, where she has a system for what to keep, what to give away. Uh, when you are organizing, how do you decide on what to keep, what to give away? What's your, the system that you recommend? It's actually just a um, uh, trial and error. You really don't have like a, a specific, and I think most of these uh, organizer shows and stuff like that that you will see in the, uh, like Mary Kondo that uses the, the, the sense of like that sparkle joy. Um, I think it's a sense of knowing that if it's been behind all the way in your counter and you haven't used it in years, will you use it again? If that's something you were missing, then yeah, put it right in front of your eyes to use it. Otherwise, give it away to somebody that can use it or or if it's trash, just put it in the trash. Or if there's something that you can change with it, that it was a contain, empty container or something that you can fill up with flowers or fill it up with uh, certain things that it can be an um, uh, organization um, part of your um, cabinet, then go ahead and do that. But I think it's just uh, um, how to make it easier. I think it's something to that, that the key is like, if you haven't used it in a very, very long time, that's a question. No. Okay. Then are you going to throw it away? Is it trash? Or is it something that you can repurpose in a different way, in a different manner? Or is it something that can bring joy to somebody else? So that's probably the main thing. Beautiful. And I love that idea of upcycling. Um, I remember some beautiful things that I created great. for the office. Uh, and they were candle holders, but then they became so helpful as something else. They were, everything was just always uh, organized and beautiful, both of them. Thank so you. I really appreciated that. Yeah. Uh, thank you. And then do you have, you know, with an inspiration, um, where does your inspiration for organization come from? Um, I think Mary Kondo is a good example, actually. She's such a, a cute little soul that um, it's <laughs> so uh, full of joy herself that you can see that it comes out of her. So I think it's, it's a good example for me. Um, I really enjoy that that show if you guys haven't watched it you guys have to go watch it <laughs> it's really good if you have no organizational or motivational uh skills she is a really good one <laughs>